design thanks to the curves on either side of the display. Now the display is one continuous panel unlike on the Note 4 Edge so the features that it actually offers are more limited but it really does add to the overall look and feel of the device. Paired with this metal frame and that reflective metal coating underneath the glass, it's really, really a good combination. So Samsung still has had to do a protrusion for the camera module, but that's okay. When you have a device this thin, that's going to be required if you want a good camera. But they've paid a lot of attention to the details, like these metal buttons. And here you can see multi-window, which is Samsung's multitasking system in operation on the S6 Edge. So you can run one app on the right and one app on the left side by side. You can change the uh, size of each section. And here's a look too at the notification stream, which is Lollipop, as you can see. So Samsung is really proud of the camera here. And the camera has this tracking feature. So you can tap a subject and it'll automatically track it. And that's taken from their line of dedicated camera devices. You can also reposition some of the stock apps, resize them, and then move them around the screen. So here the dialer, you can see, is shrunk down, but it's still in operation. And while the S6 is also very nice, I think the S6 